Let's jump into this lawsuit that yeah. potentially could happen. Doesn't there's currently no lawsuit. That's why there's a question mark of is is there going to be another lawsuit in 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 uh, disc golf? Do you do you know anything about the story with MVP? No clue. I don't All know right. what you're about to say. Silas, how how uh, knowledgeable are you with this? No clue, brother. Silas asleep. Did do we put Silas <laughs> asleep? <laughs> no, I said no clue, brother. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll act like he's not logged. We hear you now, Lag King. Oh, what's going on? Uh, do you know what I'm about to talk about with the MVP? No, zero. Clue. Okay. Well, here we go. There's a lot of people that have no idea what I'm about to talk about. So here we go. Everyone, let's go. This is a statement. Uh, this was a um, a statement that MVP put out on their website. It's called Statement on the Balance. And for those that don't know. PDGA just approved one of Simon's new line called the balance the prototype. Uh, we have a few important things to discuss first. This is I'm literally reading word for word here. First off, why prototype as a collaboration between Simon MVP, the Simon Lazat, uh, the Simon line represents, uh, where am I at? Sorry. Hold on. My thing's messing up. Represents a melding of Simon's lifetime, of disc golf experience, MVP's technical experience. As such, Simon line discs have a long development time, uh, development time. We all want to make sure each disc is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, from hand feel to flight, it has to be perfect. When the first balances came off the machine, everyone was quite excited. The feel was exactly what we wanted. A slightly low profile mid mid range accompanied by a bead and the excitement in the room was palpable. However, after thorough testing, the stability and flight that we saw wasn't exactly what we were looking for. As you all know, by now creating a disc designed to hit an intended stability where fractions of a millimeter will result in a different disc is not an easy task. After years of learning and hard earned experience, it's something we have pride in achieving more than any the other this time unfortunately we were a few hundred microns off instead of creating a disc between the reactor and the pyro we had something more similar to the runway in the pyro and it was a hard decision as the disc well excellent wasn't what we were looking for to get the ideal flight the decision was to go, to go back to the drawing board and fully re retool the balance however we still had a perfectly excellent overstable mid-range here what do we do with that we could release the initial prototype run in a very limited quality to our dealers similar to what we did with the time lapse however we'd still need the disc to be pdj approved with its own unique name because of the impending retooling that is a decent amount of hassle for an extremely limited run and it likely lead to some fan disapprovement um, as well if we went through that just to keep it extremely limited especially for a simon line release uh, that thought process i can't give you the cliff notes mad dog Suck it up. That thought process led us to our solution. Uh, we, we, we PGA prove it as a Simon line balance and retool the balance in the meantime. So it can deliver the flight. We were initially looking for later. This gives gyronauts access to a part of the development process of a Simon line disc that otherwise would never be released while others, uh, allowing the disc to be PDJ legal as well. However, there's another wrinkle in this whole situation. There is a disc currently PDJ approved for the name balance. Knowing why we have submitted a prototype for approval is one thing, but why are we submitting a disc name for a name that has technically already been approved by the PDGA? The answer there is that MVP believes we have already secured the trademark application priority date to the name balance for use in disc golf. The Simon line brand extremely is important to us in the development process. The disc is long and uh, with Two things in mind, MVP decided to register trademarks ahead of time for names that Simon and ourselves felt were an integral in the Simon line. In photography and film, uh, film, the concept of balance is everywhere, yada, yada, yada. That's why MVP went through the extensive process rushing. As we built the mold over the next thing, all right, now I'm doing cliff notes. Um, so essentially what's happening right here, let me get to it. Uh, that is the complete and long history of the Simon line balance. Despite the bumpy road, we are extremely excited about where the balance is heading. And we're also looking forward to letting you all enjoy the development process alongside us with the release. Stay tuned for more information uh, on that front. If you're interested in learning more about trademark law and how it pertains to growing the sport of disc golf, uh, you can go to this. So um, 
Oh, I, this is the part that's actually really important. Needless to say, the news was certainly a shock to our system when the balance thing was already there. We reached out to the company to let them know the situation. We assumed that this misunderstanding on their part and that we'd be able to find a solution after a quick conversation. However, after even exp- after explaining the situation to them, the company was unwilling to budge as they felt their situation gave them priority to their name. So... Uh, we have the utmost confidence in our registered trademark rights and fully expect our pinning trademark to be registered. So basically what's looking like right now is he is kind of <laughs> what's looking right now is disc they basically stuff. trade, they trademarked a name yeah. balance to be used in disc golf. Someone else. I, I don't think the PDGA really cares about trademarks or anything say, like that. Go. Yep. Someone, said, Hey, we want to have a balance. PGA is like, yep, looks good. Great. No problem. MVP reaches out to that company saying, Hey, listen, I'm sorry that you went through with this. We actually have that right to the name. Uh, can you, you know, basically change the name and they're like, nah, bro, we're doing our thing. So I, I, it seems like there's going to be some legal matters coming up. It doesn't you know? sound like much because they have the, rights to the name no but it's it is very interesting though that there are disc golf companies out there that are just like nah dude i think we're fine because i mean think about it how many of these disc golf companies have printed out stuff that technically they shouldn't be printing out on this and selling yeah right so again it's like mvp looks like a legit company that is running and doing the right things there's other companies that are kind of doing what disc golf used to be which is not what it is anymore. And they're like, nah, we're going to do our own thing. And they're probably going to get a nice little thing in the mail being like, ah, you might want to change your mind, brother. So we'll see what happens. But, um, Why I, I thought that was change a- the name. Nah, bro. Balance too good like, of a name. What's the big deal? Nah, <laughs> I, I agree. I agree with you. So we'll see what happens with that. I thought that I was an interesting little story. 